Stay away from coyotes if you happen to see any at San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. And that's warning going out to visitors tonight after a series of run-ins with wild animals. KPI XY's Andrea Borba live at the park. A look at why coyotes seem to be behaving strangely during some recent encounters. Andrea? Well, Alan and Elizabeth, there were two encounters last fall where this particular coyote with some very distinctive features charged at toddlers inside the botanical gardens. And then three more incidents just last month forcing local, state, and federal authorities to kill the animal this morning. After five incidents where a coyote charged a toddler inside the San Francisco Botanical Garden, animal control officers killed a male coyote today, calling him a threat to public safety. The problem lies in that people continuously fed this coyote, and he became desensitized to, to people, and he, sh he shouldn't be. People should not be feeding wildlife. We aren't talking about coyotes finding half-eaten hamburgers that didn't quite make it in a trash can, but feasting on platters of meat, and last week, two dozen bagels, which were left for the animals to eat. The coyote killed today was known to be hanging around Golden Gate Park since 2016. Animal Control says he learned some bad habits thanks to humans. Once that happens, you, you cannot re-educate a coyote. We cannot educate the coyote, but we can educate the public. And we have repeatedly said, do not do this. You know, you're not helping the coyote. It's impossible to miss the signs all over Golden Gate Park, warning of active dens of coyotes and pups, and asking not to feed the wildlife. I appreciate that they think they're helping. They're not helping. There's no food shortage for coyotes in San Francisco. There's food all over the joint. Um, there's gophers, there's moles. Park goers we spoke with were disappointed that the coyote had to be put down because of human interference. If, if there's a lesson to be learned, it would be to ob observe the do not feed the animal signs here and throughout the city. It's just like the people in, uh, like when they visit Yosemite National Park and they leave food in their cars, they come back to their cars and they wonder why the bear ripped apart their car. So, yeah, people are stupid. Now, just to be clear, at this point, this animal behavior was erratic and escalating. They said they had to take care of this problem before anything happened, particularly given the fact, Alan and Elizabeth, that this animal was charging at toddlers. As we saw this past summer in the uh, La Mirinda Hills, we definitely saw some toddlers that got bit mm -hmm. there, and they did not want a repeat of that here. Bottom line, do not feed the animals. All right, Andrea, thank you.